Hello, I'm Division 10. I'm a cosplayer and um, I built something really cool out of really simple stuff. So I wanted to show you how I finished Kibo from Danganronpa. Now I first have on two balaclava. Um, the first one is so that the wiring does not touch my face. And the second one is actually gonna keep the mask in place. So if you're having trouble hearing me, I apologize. I can always overdub this later. Uh, the first piece in question is this mask. Now it's a cheap plastic mask from the, what was it? Not the dollar store, uh, AC Moore. It was like two, three dollars, I think. So the reason why I do two is I have my wiring here and I tried my best to cover up all the bits with duct tape so that it's not touching my skin directly um, but unfortunately a little bit of the bottom of it isn't. Now my eyes actually see out of the slits underneath and you'll see what these are for in a moment. Um, I actually it's a trinket that I programmed. You can see it here wire to a little pot um, AAA, three of them. Um, you can get the basic wiring instructions from uh, Add a Fruit. And it just makes his eyes light up. Very simple. Um, you can program them with some more advanced stuff, which I have, but just plain blue eyes for now. Now the reason why I have not one but two of them is I take the second volaclaw and actually hold the mask in place. And believe it or not, that plus the wig is enough to keep it secure and it won't shift on me. Now here's the interesting thing. My mouth is actually down here. When the whole costume is on, you can't tell. And unfortunately, that's something to do with the fact that in order for me to see out of the bottom of the eyes, I had to shift everything up. Next I have the collar, which I've already turned on. And the reason why I've already turned it on is because there are a lot of lights in this thing. Now, if you're wondering why the red is on the inside, I will show you in a moment. So the green is actually three strips of EL tape, which is very similar to EL wire, but flatter. It's actually closer, I believe, to uh, EL panels. Let me get it all on and adjust. And now you see why the fact that my mouth is much lower isn't that big of an issue. Um, give me a moment to adjust all of these little bits and bobs so nothing gets stuck. Because that's how I lost my eyes last time. The soldering came loose because it yanked. And that's no fun. So the reason why I have the red LEDs on the inside of the collar, and those are just an LED strip I picked up off of Amazon, um, is because Kipo blushes, and he blushes a lot. And I wanted to be able to mimic that in the costume. So instead of having the mask itself blush, I have those LEDs, in words, for some occlusion lighting. I don't know if I can find the remote to this thing. There we go. Normally it would be off, and then, oh, I'm blushing. And I can even hide my face, like he does. And then the last piece is, of course, the wig. Always get screwed up which direction this needs to go. Now his um, antenna is on a wire, so I can actually remove it. I have a piece of duct tape in here just so that I know which way is up. And then I press the wig down. A little bit of adjusting all over to make sure everything is sitting where it's supposed to. Okay. 
Hang on, I've got something in my eye. be able to see out of it as much as I can. So a little more adjusting is in order. Actually, I have to pull this up way higher. There we go. I was getting the, the, um, the band of the uh, balaclava in my eye. That's no fun. Okay, now I can see. Much, much, much better. like my battery actually turned itself off, so I'm gonna have to get a different battery type. And there we go. Normal. Normal Kibo. Blushing. <laughs> I thought that was a cute addition. Let me try that again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling so much about this. It's so silly. All right. See you all at Anime next.